Coming up next on Friends at Five, another presidential candidate close to home leaves the race. We'll tell you who when Friends at Five starts in just one minute. From the station that's on your side, you're watching Friends at Five. Good evening and thanks for watching Friends at Five. I'm Sonia Gutierrez. And I'm Savannah Levins. Very warm temperatures. Not a white Christmas. No, wah, not, wah. not at all. A wet I'm Christmas, okay Christmas maybe. <laughs> I am okay with that. Sonia's from Denver, so she says, uh, 80 degrees, I'll take hey, it for Christmas. Christmas, sun on Christmas, <laughs> equals good in my book. Well, right. there you go. Now, most of the time when you get pulled over by law enforcement officers, it's because you're speeding or maybe one of your headlights is out. But this week, Monroe County, Georgia's deputies are pulling folks over for a different reason. The sheriff says an anonymous person donated a little more than $5,000 to the sheriff's office. He says that person asked if deputies can pull over people with some minor violations and then give them money instead of tickets. The goal is to help people out just before the holidays. Here's a look at some of the surprises. The sheriff says he hopes the tradition will continue next year and hopefully here we pick it up. Yeah, that's so sweet. What a creative what? way to give back. The eco-friendly tiny home weighs only 1,500 pounds and is aerodynamic in order to minimize energy consumption. And I got to talk to this guy today. Very interesting. This is one of the smallest tiny homes I've ever seen. You know what, Savannah, though? I would be down to live in one of those. I, I would see that for you, son. I well, would. he was saying a big target is the millennials who, after they graduate college, they haven't quite figured out what they want to do yet. So just buy a tiny pod, travel around, <laughs> see the sites, decide what you want to do. It's um, quite adventurous. I'm in. I yeah, mean, lots don't tell of me use you wouldn't. for it. Well, another thing he's saying is, you know, for emergency situations, even like the floods that we saw or for the homeless, it's a really good way to transition. So lots of uses for that. And uh, we're going to have more um, further look inside of those tiny pods coming up. If you are heading over to the Nickelodeon Theater on on Main Street, you may notice something you've never seen before, or at least in a really long time. If you're old enough to remember, sitting inside a lobby is an old time cigarette vending machine. But there's a twist, you won't find any cigarettes, but for $5, you will find art. It's called the Artomat. The purpose is to make art more accessible to people who might not go out looking for it. 